Welcome everybody, it's Gaming Mike here, No Man's Sky Time. I'm on survival mode, I'm resuming on the lush planet where, uh, the lush moon where I landed in the last stream in part 8. This being part 9. And I've resumed my search for plutonium, I'm in the caves just near my ship. I haven't had any run-ins with sentinels. I had a little bit of a streamus interruptus on my last start of a stream. It was only about, uh, 10 minutes of play. And you didn't miss much. So... Consider it lost. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, though. Hope you're enjoying it. Be sure to hit that like button if you are. I just want to get off this moon. I was just saying that as the stream bonked out last time. I, I just want to get enough plutonium to get off this moon. So I'm exploring the caves. I found a new cave that I haven't been through yet. And uh, I am just looking for the plutonium. Yeah, lush moon, so the sentinels are very aggressive. Fortunately, there's an, uh, a pretty extensive cave system that I've been exploring and finding some plutonium in. Uh, so, exploring the cave isn't so bad because the sentinels don't come in here naturally. And this, a this moon has no animal life. So I don't have to worry about cave crabs or other such maladies. So the cave exploring for survival mode is actually pretty mellow on this moon. Which is nice. Pallet PC, welcome to the chat. Nice to see you again. Oh man, I just... Oh yeah, I gotta keep remembering to look in between the iron for any small chunks of plutonium. It'll crop up in there sometimes. Well, look at this. Giant emerald cave. These caves have emerald all over. Am I back to the beginning? That's where I blew my hole in it. I did do that in the in the lost minutes of the stream. I that's there's a smaller cave entrance out by my ship into that area. I was blasting through with grenades and blasted through this wall. Which means I'm back to my ship, but I don't think I got all the turns and crevices in this cave. Or did I? Oh god. I hate it. <laughs> I felt like there were other cracks and crevices. But, uh, who knows? Who cares? Let's... Let's peek our heads out. Oh, look! Oh, look at this! My goodness. That's probably enough. Oh, my God. And it's just sitting right there. I almost went and looked over here, but then I saw that cave entrance that I went into that I was just exploring, and I explored that instead. What a waste. Hold on. Get to my ship. Can I recharge thrusters? Is that 100%? 99%? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Troll. Game is troll. Game is troll. Game hates me. Ah! <laughs> Last we saw him, he was caving. That was 72 years ago. Yeah, 99%. Laugh it up. Laugh it up. Oh my goodness gracious. Game hates me. Just a little more. Just... Oh, look. Look, look, look. Give me my 100%. Give me my 100%. Never give up. With two left over. Okay, fine. Okay, there was a little bit more right there. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Now I just have to get back to my ship without getting killed. So where's the sentinels? Where are you, fellas? There's one. I see you. Over by the building. Stay there. Where's your buddy, though? Oh, get over this way. If I just skirt the edge of this crater here... This is a manufacturing facility, so it comes with its standard two sentinels. Two sentinel accompaniment. And they do buzz around here. But they're not by my ship right now. So if I just... Uh, walk casually. Everything's fine. Everything's normal. I'm gonna finally get off this planet, you guys. Alright. Alright. Get that gold out of my ship inventory. Keep the iron. Take the plutonium back. Nope. 
I should probably put the plutonium in there for this space. How much more iron can the ship hold? It can hold this stack. Great. Um, what else do I need to save if I die? Well, nope. Those neutrino modules won't stack. I can take all that platinum. I can take all that platinum. I can also probably, should probably, make some of these, eh? I think this is a good idea. I'll make a stack of those. Excellent. What does that leave me with? That didn't quite finish off my plutonium platinum. Really? Really? Uh really? Oh. I'm just worried that those sentinels are gonna stump fly by any time now. Ah, they fixed that. Soon after the update, I was able to transfer a stack into my exosuit inventory if there was only one slot available. <laughs> Being cave trolled pallet PC, I sure was. Cave trolls. Anyway, oh, what else should I put in my suit before takeoff? I got one slot. I should make one more of those. Get rid of that platinum. Then I can take this and this. I don't care about those neutrino modules too much. If I die and lose those, I'll live. I'll friggin' live. I'm gonna save the plutonium though. Every last scrap. Those two, those two chunks of plutonium are vital. Now what the hell? I was out for, I was out on the hunt for spadonium for my construction guy because he was gonna teach me how to build a science terminal. That's what I was doing when I landed on this planet without enough plutonium to take off like an idiot and got blasted by sentinels. So, I should resume the hunt for spadonium. I need a barren planet. This system, I believe, had five planets, one moon, and this was the moon. Mild weather. It's a lush moon. That's what it said when I landed. Oh, sorry. I'm just mentally preparing myself to uh, take off. I want to make sure I do this right. It's survival mode, and I have to really think about it. <laughs> okay, I've got shielding shards. I'm ready to charge shield. I've got extra iron. Just in case the shielding shards run out. All my stuff for space travel is in my suit inventory. Most of it. Not these modules, but who cares. Lordy. So I need a barren planet. I need a barren planet. They usually look reddish from the space. Is that right? That's all. And I need pl uh, plutonium. I wonder if I should head for the station and try to buy up enough plutonium to get my next takeoff charged up. I don't know. Wants me to craft antimatter. I should buy suspension fluid. What's this planet, please? What's this planet, please? I'd like to know what's... What's on it? Why won't it scan? Why won't it scan? There's that stupid moon. There's that dumb old moon. There's the space station. Oh yeah, let's check. Is it a five and one? We're on a trip on our favorite rocket ship. That's right, it is. It's a five and one. Five planets, one moon. Okay. And I've explored the moon only. Do, uh, why is, why is, is survival mode different than normal mode? Does the stuff not show up? Does it not tell you what the elements are on a planet from a scan? Is that a survival mode thing? It must be. Nothing's happening. Great. All right. Oh, now it wants to show me. Oh, now it'll show me. Never mind. As soon as I decided I couldn't do it, I could do it. Candensium. That's not spadonium. Oh shit, pirates. 
I wasn't aimed in the right direction for this. Doesn't matter. Hit the atmosphere. Ugh. Hostile subspace scan failed. Screw you, pirates. Oh, well, yeah, this looks like a toxic planet, huh? I'm not gonna land. Don't worry. I'm not gonna land. Woo! But, as long as those piratey bastards are around... Actually, I would like to find a l No, it doesn't matter. I don't need to discover every world, do I? Hey, Dagon, I, uh, you missed me getting off of that lush moon with the heavy sentinels from my last survival mode stream. I was still there. I got the plutonium I needed, and I took off. So, this planet and its moon can go fly a kite, for all I care. What about that one? Oh god. Gold and nickel. Well, whatever. I need to get over there just before the pirates get to me anyway. It's got gold, nickel, and heridium. Interesting. Huh. Thanks for joining me, guys. Gaming Mike here. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Be sure to hit that like button if you are doing the survival mode No Man's Sky thing tonight. I'm just going to fly into this atmosphere. Does anybody know any really good indicators of barren worlds from this, from flying around in your ship within the atmosphere? Is there a way to tell if it's barren before you land? A way to tell without landing? My idea here is just to fly in the atmosphere for a minute uh, to avoid pirates while headed towards the horizon where the other planet, the next planet over is. And if I see any trading posts along the way, I might stop. Eddie Brown says desert. Yeah, this looks a little deserty to me, but also the nighttime makes it kind of hard to tell. So I don't know. I don't know if it's barren. I know that last planet looked toxic. See if I see question. Yeah, I haven't been scanning. Did I? Why not? If there's no. Oh, barren worlds do not have any, like, buildings or waypoints or anything? Nothing that shows up as a question mark in a ship scan? Yeah, no question marks so far. Certain minerals only existing on barren worlds. Well, I, yeah, the uh, spadonium, I believe, only appears on barren worlds, which is what I'm looking for. I'm not seeing any question marks, though. Would I be able to see the cacti from this level if I slowed down? That's another question. Let me just... Uh Test that out for... I'll fly up this mountain at a slow speed. Whoa, and look for cacti. What's this? Oh, I don't have the beam yet. Looks pretty barren. I don't want to land, though. <laughs> I don't want to land. Only see large things, large creatures, large resources. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I wouldn't see the cacti without landing if it if they did exist. Huh. I mean, are barren worlds the same uh, that 
the same that people refer to as um, dead worlds where there's no resources at all or is there always thamium and plutonium available? Yeah, Dagon, I know what the spadonium looks like. I'm just wondering if I'd be able to see it from up here. Oh, see, the plutonium just loaded in right there. I saw plutonium. I saw it. Some stuff is loading in now that I've slowed down. Big chunk of plutonium and iron. There's plutonium all over. I can land here. I can land here. I can land here. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of plutonium right here. Tempered, low, not present and lacking. Sentinel's low though, that's good. Yeah, plenty of plutonium right here. Any purple stuff? Any purple icons? I want the purple stuff. Bunch of thamium. See, these barren worlds, yeah, they only have plutonium and thamium, I think. I saw one in... I think it was on my normal mode where I came across a barren planet after the update and it had only plutonium and thamium. So it's good for stocking up on fuel and life support. Um, I don't know if it's going to have spadonium though. Barren worlds have to contain plutonium and thamium or you get stranded. Yeah, Alan Parks, that's what I was thinking. I just, I really had to make sure in my mind that I was logically sound on that before I landed. <laughs> my last my last landing on a planet was traumatic, okay? It was traumatic for me. It was very difficult. <laughs> Welcome to the chat, by the way, Alan Parks. Palette PC has found thamium in clusters and zinc on barren worlds, sporadic plutonium. At least you stock up on Pluto. Yeah, and iron. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of iron around for sure. And uh, some antrium, too. Antrium is antrium is the iron of the rare elements. It is. Where was that thamium cluster? Over the hill here, I think. The sentinels are chilled out here. I am going to be smart and put my stuff back over in the ship while I'm here. Hey. Okay. Because I don't want to miss a thing. Boom. 100% on that. And I'm going to get extra. I'm going to get me a big old stack of plutonium. It's going to be great. There's that thamium. And what's that? Maybe emerald? Maybe gold? Oh, yeah. It's pretty hot here. I better make this quick. Yeah, it's pretty hot here. It's pretty hot here. Yeah, life support goes down at double rate. Because of Baron. So, I saw some more Thamium and Plutonium on the way back. And that'll probably be enough. Thamium was... Oh. 75% already. There. I knew I saw two. I knew it. There's the plutonium. Big chunk. Alright. But it's looking like no spadonium. I saw no purple icons around here. None around here. And that uh, life support's going fast. I'm getting out. Getting out while I can. Eddie Brown, I'm not going to do that because in survival mode that really drops your life support even faster. That's why I'm walking. When you found spadonium, it was listed on Planet Scan from Space. Yeah, Mike Young, I'm pretty sure it'll show up. I just. Uh, this world made me curious, plus the thought of the plutonium stock up appealed to me. Well, that's not a ton. That's not even enough. But I have... I can take off now. I didn't even get enough. How much thamium? I got a lot of thamium. 
a lot of thamium. Maybe I could run for some more plutonium before I leave here. You think? Is there any showing up on scan? No. Okay. Then I won't. Then I won't. I will continue the hunt, uh, the hunt for spadonium. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Let's go. Spadonium. And we'll just hope there's ample plutonium on the planet with spadonium. Which way was I headed, though? That planet over on the horizon. Because I came from that one, I think. Well, I can afford a little trip into space. Yeah, I've been to that one. Oh, hey, freighters. Hey, freighters. And that's the moon. Oh, God. That's really bright, guys. Maybe don't do that. Headed to the next planet. Jason Kenton, to get a better ship without buying, you can find transmission towers and find crash ships with transmission towers and then uh, upgrade that way. Welcome to the chat, by the way. Space is nice this time of year. What could go wrong? Oh, here they come. And... Shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. I gotta... Whatever. That's why... That's why they're after me. One iron. You jokester. 30 seconds away from that. I'm not going to make it there. Where are they going to pop out? Right in front of me? Or behind me? There. Sons of bitches. Ah! He's got the lasers. And I got him. Oh, shielding shards don't even work for this ship. I thought they did. Trophium. Resume course. I thought shielding shards worked on the ship, too. Huh. This one does not have spadonium, but it's near the space station. Well, actually, where was that space station? Did I pass it? I did pass it. Nope. Okay, that one does not have spadonium. Where did it go? I lost the planet. There it is. And so, the next planet... The last planet I haven't found yet is... I discovered that one. That's the planet in the moon. I didn't discover the planet, but I've been there and it's toxic. And there's that guy. Where are the others? That's the one I just came from? Maybe not? Carizogen. That's the last one in the system, and it doesn't have spadonium. I need to just go to the station. This is not the system I seek. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. You have to search for ships only if you don't want to buy them. Transmission towers. I don't think you can scan for them with the beacon anymore. Not the beacon that you build. Uh, there's an. Uh, I think there's another way to get transmission towers now, but I don't know quite what it is. Sorry, Jason. What was the valuable cargo? I don't know. I had some gold on me. I have a lot of gold right now. I should go sell it. I forgot to transfer out of my ship inventory before I took off, and that's a fool's, fool's way to do it. we go. Almost to the station. Almost there. 
Well, get around to the other side of it, you fool. No spadonium here. Sure thing, Jason. Mike Young says it says that even if your cargo is zero. Yeah, they're just they're just hostile. They're just using cargo as an excuse. But hey guys, thanks for joining me. Gaming Mike here. Rocking the survival mode on No Man's Sky. Hope you're enjoying it. Be sure to hit that like button if you are. And uh, feel free to say hey in the chat. Always good to see who's along with me on the journey. Eddie Brown just bought a ship for 400,000 credits. Nice. Hope it was worth it. Got the Gex screaming at me as soon as I walk in the door. Okay. I'm going to sell the Golden Emerald. Caleb Venuto, welcome to the chat. Thanks for saying hey. Nice to see a new face. A new icon. Whatever. Pugnium, I'm just going to get rid of it. Oh, sounds like a milestone. Show it to me. What's my milestone? I heard the music. Bwah. <laughs> right on, Caleb. Glad I got it right. There it is. A bwah. Enterprising. Earned 568,000 credits. Boom. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I wanted to sell that trophium. And probably these modules. Oh, shush. I have free slots. You don't know. Oh, not a very good price on those. Who cares? Oh, I need to buy that suspension fluid. That's right. Suspension. Product received. That's one of my objectives. I need to do that to craft antimatter. Um. Hey, why don't you just go ahead and charge up? You could probably charge up too. Stinking shielding shards. You can go to my inventory because that's the only place I can use them. I'll keep the stack in my ship because that saves me four spaces. It wants me to craft. Oh, so I need plutonium for that and I just plugged all my plutonium and I'm going to need zinc. Oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> I need more plutonium. Uh, I need to buy here. I need plutonium and zinc. Oh, zinc at a premium? They do have plutonium. Good price on plutonium. All right. I am not going to buy premium zinc unless I have to. Unless I scraps absolutely snap to. Nice ship. What's that stuff on the side? Mister, mister. You got plutonium, mister? Mister, mister. Work geck. Yoda? What? Yoda? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Just the other day I had Captain Funk. And now I get work geck Yoda. Go figure. Go figure. Uh, Caleb, no, I've been playing No Man's Sky since it was released. Oh, look, I can buy antimatter. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Yoda. 
Thanks for the antimatter. That's what I needed. That saves me actually all that resource hunting. All of it. I wonder if the game will accept this for my little quest there. I still want to buy more zinc and plutonium. I met them in the station in some crappy system where the planets all align. Sales Gek Seminic. Uh, yeah, Caleb, I'm on PS4. Sure thing. Just like it says in the title. Nasty Yoda, remember. <laughs> hey, Danny Chadwick, welcome to the chat. Nathan, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. I'm gonna buy that zinc. Zinc's at good prices if you don't use the terminal in this station. I can't believe that guy's name was Yoda. I can't believe it. I can believe it. Jason, no, I did not. I uh, my normal mode save is is there and present and accounted for. Uh, let's see. Uh, I still need more plutonium to craft that. And the traders are flowing freely, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some. Simonic is the best looking gek I've seen. Oh, Mike Young, I wasn't even really paying attention to what he looked like, actually. Broker Jalusk. Oh, that sucks, Jason. That's a bummer to lose your saved data. Premium zinc. Let's see. Now I can do what it wants. Now I got two jumps. Carnivore, herbivore, nocturnal, etc. Oh, Seminic. There's Seminic again. Oh, you like the look of him, huh? You like the look of him. Oh yeah, he does look like Jellusk. Jellusk. Interesting. Very dinosaur-y. Dinosaur-ish. There's Yoda. I saw Yoda again. That's Yoda's ship. Work deck Yoda flies around in this thing. Take a picture of his ship, too. <laughs> Yoda. <laughs> yeah, Jason, yes, this is survival. Oh, that's Jalusk again. Who's this? Oh, that's Seminic. All repeats. This is a new ship. This is a new trader. What's your name, fella? Revelsa. Director Revelsa. Usually you don't go for Gex, but you're not so sure now, Mike Young? Hey, it's okay to question yourself sometimes. It's okay. Revelsa. Oh, premium zinc from you too, huh? Ooh. You got four antimatter? I'm gonna buy those. I think. Hell, I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy one for sure. I'm gonna buy this Heridium too, because it's at a decent price. <laughs> Nathan, if this is survival, how am I able to do that? I believe there's a force field uh, at the end of the hangar bay. Some kind of force field. Some kind of force field, I reckon. How are we looking? One more warp cell, using up my thamium, but I did just get a bunch. And I do want to fuel up this hyperdrive. And uh, what's my thrusters like? I want to keep buying plutonium. Nope, Seminic, I already bought your plutonium. This guy looks new. I haven't seen this ship. Timolas. Walk through the force field? No thanks. I'll pass. Wow, look at Timolas. Nice head, bro. <laughs> He's a four-eyed gek. Oh, I already visited him? No way. His zinc is all gone. He just doesn't have any. It's not because I bought it. 
buy your heridium too, buddy. Heridium's always useful. Heridium's always useful. Look at this ship. I haven't seen this one either. Who is it? Something, something. He's had a lot of work done. Yeah, Mike Young. Mining Overseer Yakoktegel. Yakoktegel. Gesundheit. Oh, your premium heridium. No thanks. Only 12 plutonium? What's up, guy? You're not doing too well out there? Keep your chin up. Look at this little ship. Oh, that's Revelsa. That's Revelsa again. So, do they still share an inventory? I guess I might as well test that out. How did I get so much money? Eddie Brown, I just sold a bunch of gold that I had mined on another planet. So, I'm sitting pretty right now for money. It's very nice. It's very nice to have this much money on survival mode. It's got a lot of stuff. Revelsa's swimming in it. And that guy looked different than the other Revelsa. Look, there's Revelsa again. Look, well, let's test it out. Let's see if they still share an inventory. I just bought his plutonium and heridium. He looks the same. Okay, that's the same looking guy. Same inventory? No. Different inventories. That's good to know. I can buy heridium twice from him. Plutonium twice from him. Antimatter, dimensional matrices. Man, I should have seen if any of that stuff's going for good money in the station, actually. I don't want to spend my time item juggling through the trade system, though. That's not something I really want to do. There, how much plutonium left after that? Still 71? That's decent. That's decent. Oh, I don't need it in my ship, though, because I'm about to take off. Okay, so I need to get out of this system. I need to get out of this system. Right? Right. Oh, pirates on the scan? What's that all about? Tell them to leave me alone. Tell them to leave me alone. Do the pirates still attack when you're in here? This is my path to the core. Oh, this is also five planets, one moon. That's the best I can really hope for. Keep going. Right down the path. Whatever. I'm out of there. Screw the pirates. Thanks for joining me, guys. Gaming Mike here. Hope you're enjoying it. Be sure to hit that like button for me if you are. It really lets me know uh, what's good on the channel. I like the feedback. And uh, glad you're here. Be sure to say hey in the chat. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you'll consider it for more No Man's Sky in the future. Also been doing Final Fantasy 15 lately. Some Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, some Steep. It's been very good. So, hope you like it. I'll pop a link in the chat there from Nightbot uh, for some uh, walkthrough tutorials of how to play on the Foundation update here in No Man's Sky. Some walkthroughs I did might be handy for people if you're just starting the game or things like that. Candensium. Why did it automatically show up? I didn't even scan yet. Aluminum, nickel, heridium. Oh, the Atlas. Find us. Hear us. Ooh. Hey, Atlas. Hey, Atlas, he shrugged. For Vidium. There's the station. Did the atlas... The atlas symbol looks like a knowledge stone. Did it always look like that? I don't remember the atlas looking like that. Emerald, nickel, heridium. That does not help, sir. Better get around the other side of the station here. Oh, it looks like Nightbot's not working, actually. So no link for that. Never mind. Oh, that's a monolith that's scanned. Okay, there's the moon. It's got Tamarium. I'm not seeing Spadonium. Yodely bodily bodium. How can I get a better hyperdrive level, Jason? You have to uh, learn the the technology blueprint from somewhere. Uh oh, here comes pirates. Oh, this ship handles like a wad of cookie dough. I'm hiding from them. 
I don't know where the entrance to the station is. Ah, oh, hell. Oh, hell, I shot the station. Quick menu's kind of screwing me over right here. All oh, three of them, huh? Oh, get out of it. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, sorry, dude. Oh, shit. That's a traitor, too. I'm shooting traitors by accident. This is a disaster. Oh, shit. I hit that clever bastard. I'm hosed. I'm hosed. He just flew right through the station. Ooh, whatever. Oh my gosh. I have to go to that monolith to open up teleport. Is that how that works? Still had most of my good stuff in the inventory. I lost those five shielding shards and a bunch. No, I used all that iron in the fight. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, hmm. That monolith, huh? Spent twenty warps before Ryan told you that. Oh, okay. So the monolith unlocks the ability to teleport to base, which would be very handy. Very handy indeed. But actually, guys, with that death, I think I'll go ahead and wrap up the stream there. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be back on at my regular broadcast time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's in about 2 hours and 15 minutes from now. And uh, I'm thinking tonight I might play Final Fantasy XV a little more and get back into the storyline on that because I really want to get through the story. So, I hope you'll join me for that. Be sure to hit subscribe so you get notified when I broadcast again. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.